everybody, it is Jamie Hardwick from moderndayfox.com. I am here with some more healthy recipes for you to do your food prep in um, with the Instant Pot. So um, a lot of the recipes that are online have cheesecakes and all the heavy, heavy pot roasts and things like that, but there's so much that you can do with your Instant Pot that's healthy and clean. And that is the purpose of my videos, is to show you how to do some simple beginner level meal prep with your Instant Pot. So today we're going to um, start with some hard boiled eggs. So simple, it really cannot get easier than this. Um, I tried it last night using this old gal, which is a great blog, check it out, thisoldgal.com. Um, she gave very simple instructions and I tried it out last night, it worked like a charm. Um, so you, I have this, um, steamer basket that I bought on Amazon it actually came with these handles turned out and I had read in the reviews that you could either just take them off completely or take pliers and lift them up so I sent my husband out there to do that this basket was really cheap um, you can easily find it I think even on this old gal she links up to it um, so I had him keep one of the sides on so that I could lift it out with a glove so you put this basket in your pot I'm using a, a six quart, seven in one Instant Pot. Take one cup of water, pour that in there. It doesn't matter how many eggs you use. I'm just gonna do, um, do four eggs. Set them directly in your steamer pot. Put your lid on. Um, a, a good trick I read on one of the blogs was to put it at 11 o'clock and turn it to 12 o'clock to lock. Just like that. Um, then you're gonna wanna press manual. Make sure it's on high pressure. If it's not, press pressure. That will take you from low to high. So make sure it's on high pressure. And that is all you do. It will come to pressure. Oh, make sure that your, your vent up top is on ceiling. I always forget that. Um, so make sure that's on ceiling. Let your pot sit, it'll come to pressure. In two minutes it will beep. And then we will do a slow release, a natural release. It really doesn't matter how long. If you if you look at Jill's blog on this old gal, she says, you know, just let it release as long as you want to and when you're ready to eat it. Um, just take them out and eat them right away or refrigerate them. So I will be back when the eggs are done. Alrighty, it has been on a natural release for 13 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release it all the way. And we do that by just turning the valve to venting. There is no steam left and the knob has dropped. So I'm gonna pull the lid off. So you can see in there that they look pretty good. All right, I have taken my uh, eggs out of the steamer basket and worked out great with the mitt and the handle that my husband left on there. Um, so I'm just gonna rinse these under some cold water to cool them off there very hot. You don't have to do that. Um, it says on the blog that you don't have to do a nice bath or anything. I'm just doing it so that I can peel it for you, show you how easy it is to peel. All right, I have one that's cool enough now. It's, it's nice and cold, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to peel. So as you can see, the shell is coming right off which is awesome because normally when I make them in um, a pot with boiling water, um, all the white rips off while I peel it. So um, as easy as that, um, I'll go ahead and cut into it for you so that you can see what the inside looks like. So nice and yellow and uh, good enough to eat. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do for my food prep is cook a whole chicken. <clears throat> now, full disclosure, I have not tried this yet, so you are going to um, see me try it firsthand. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is season my chicken. I have some salt. I have some pepper, not that side. Uh, I have some herbs. Herbs. Herbs of province. I guess that's how you say it. Um, then I'm going to flip it over with this hand and continue using this hand. All right, 
I'm gonna take a quick break and wash my hands. I'll be right back. Um, now I am, I have my computer open because I'm not a chef. Everything that I do, I usually Google and find a recipe and I, I read a lot of recipes and try to find what I think is gonna work best for me. So someone in the Instant Pot community, Linda Josie, thank you so much. You suggested looking at the healinggourmet.com pressure cooker chicken recipe. And I don't have exactly everything that calls for, so I'm kind of using that as a guide. Um, it says to take a tablespoon of coconut oil and heat it up in the pressure cooker. So I'm going to put uh, press saute and it's on normal. If it gets too hot, I can um, take it down to less so that it's not so hot. So I'm gonna heat up a tablespoon of coconut oil and let that melt. Do um, some browning of the chicken before I start the pressure cooker. All right, the coconut oil is all heated up and it says to put the chicken in breast side down. Woo! That's not too hot. It sounds a little hot. Um, so I'm going to let that cook for about six to seven minutes and then I'm going to flip it over and cook the other side. It's been about six minutes on this side so I'm going to flip it over. I have a feeling it's probably going to be kind of stuck on the bottom so I'm going to have to use my spatula to get it up out of the pot. All right, I have it flipped over and I'm going to show you what, the, uh, what it looks like. So, check out that beauty. Okay, now that I have it flipped over, I'm, I'm going to turn it off for a minute. Uh, I have a cup and a half of chicken stock. I'm going to pour that in there. I am going to add some more seasoning. Um, I was hoping to add minced garlic, but I'm out. So I'm just going to put some garlic powder in there. I'm also going to add some onion powder. I love flavor. Um, the recipe on Healing Gourmet calls for lemon juice. I don't have any of that either. So I'm just going to move on and put my lid on. And then it says to put the pressure cooker on high, uh, manual high, and then set for 25 minutes. And you can see I'm looking up at the recipe um, to follow. So, now that I have it set to 25, I'm going to turn my valve to sealing. Don't forget that. And um, it's going to build pressure, cook for 25 minutes, and then I'm going to let it do a natural release until the pin falls, and we'll see what we have. And we are back. It has done a slow natural release for 15 minutes, and the pin has dropped. So I'm going to just turn it off. <clears throat> I'm going to slide it over. Turn my valve to make sure everything's, the steam is out, pressure's out. Turn my lid. The directions say that I should take it out and let it sit for five minutes before I carve it. So I'm gonna try to scoop it out here. I have a, woo! <laughs> I have a beautiful broth in there. Excuse me. Every video needs a blooper, right? I knew that was gonna be hard to get out. Um, so here is my chicken, and it definitely looks tender. It's falling apart. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. Here is the chicken. I'm going to just cut into it. I'm not going to portion it right now, but I wanted to show you how tender it is. Oh, beautiful. It's cooked perfectly. It's nice and tender, not too dry. And this will be great um, in my Tupperware. In your Instant Pot, you will have a really nice broth. Do not throw this away. Um, you can make a great bone broth and we want to save it for that. So I'm going to do another video on that um, so this one doesn't get too long, but just reserve your, your broth at the bottom there. I am going to cook my potatoes now as my, my carb for my meal prep. And what I'm going to do first is I am going to take some of this wonderful broth that's already flavored. I'm going to take about a cup of that. I'm going to pour it in the bottom of my pan. And then I have four Yukon Gold potatoes. I like these potatoes because they're small and they're very tasty. They're portioned to um, 
to a yellow, so I know that one is equal to about a yellow um, if you're following 21 day fix. So put your basket into your pot, put your lid on, flip over to ceiling, and we're going to go to manual, and we want to take it down to 10 minutes. It's on high pressure, and we will let that go. After we release the pressure, we'll sh we should have some cooked potatoes. All right, the, the pressure knob has dropped, and go ahead and open this. And I'm going to stick a fork in these potatoes. See if they're done. Yes, they're nice and soft. But they're perfectly done here. So I'm going to put these to the side, and they're ready to portion into my Tupperware. All right, last step for this meal prep is cook carrots. So I'm going to take my steam bowl, stick it in there. I'm going to pour uh, some of that wonderful broth from our chicken, about a cup in there at the bottom, and a bag of mini carrots. Put my lid on, turn it to ceiling. These don't take long, so I'm going to set manual, go down to three minutes, and then I'm going to do a quick release once it beeps. The beeper has gone off, so I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to do a quick release. It has dropped, so we can open it. The carrots are nice and soft, just tested them with my fork. And we are ready to portion. I've gone ahead and portioned out my containers. And you can see I have a red for the chicken, a yellow for the potato. If it was cut, it would fit in there. A green for the orange for the carrots, excuse me, and a teaspoon of butter for my potato. We have four lunches and four snacks prepped. The lunches are one green, one red, and one yellow and one teaspoon for the butter. The snack is a half a red for the one hard boiled egg and one purple for the fruit. You're all set for work. If you like this video, make sure to check me out on moderndayfox.com. And also, if you need any help with your fitness goals, send me an email at moderndayfox at gmail.com and let me introduce you to Beachbody.